KPI is planning to grow without compromising development and at the same time without compromising the people, the environment. So the biggest emission is coming from agriculture sector. It is addressing how agriculture can be emissionless in the coming developed activities we have. Every industry will use electricity, which is source of which is coming from renewable energy, be it from our uh, hydro dams, from wind energy, from uh, solar energy, and from geothermal or biomass. This shows Ethiopia is really committed not to use fossil-based energy source. We are planning how electric based cars can be uh, increased. But the main transportation we have, the public transportation, is, is the train system. So the train system we have now, we are planning to establish around 5,000 all over the country as a network. Its space is the renewable energy electricity we have. The way we save our planet should be what science advise us and what social equity, what equity is expected. Yes, we'll have adaptation and mitigation strategies to make our country and our planet free of impact of climate change, but this should come with the support of the developed countries where they play their responsibility in a differentiated way. The biggest emitters need to bring down their emission. There is the Green Climate Fund, which is agreed. Uh, and up to now, we are not in the first group to access this fund. Some countries have started to access the fund. But Ethiopia is in the second phase. The loss and damage should be separately treated in the fund process outside adaptation and mitigation. Countries who are highly impacted to the level of huge damage, they need to have a separate mechanism which is different from the mitigation fund from the Adaptation Fund. Ethiopia, which is highly committed to green development, will be a good showcase in Paris in pushing our planet to a green development way in a way we can save our planet.